Welcome to the lesson in the external analysis module using the PESTEL model. Our focus in this module will be understanding the macro environment. As a reminder, the macro environment refers to conditions existing at the level of the economy as a whole. That are not necessarily specific to one industry, one firm, or one organization. The main tool that we use to analyze the macro environment is the PESTEL analysis. PESTEL is simply a tool to memorize, to recall the six areas of the macro environment to analyze. Political, economic, social, technological, environmental, and legal. Macro environmental forces are generally outside the control of the firm. So the point of analyzing these forces is not necessarily about figuring out how to influence or change those forces. It's more about understanding them better in order to uncover threats and opportunities for your strategy to address. Let's look at the first one. The P stands for political. In this area, you're going to want to consider factors that reflect how government, municipalities and related groups may intervene in the economy. This can include laws and regulations, such as overall environmental policies. Labor regulations and minimum wages are worth considering. You might also consider the stability of the political environment, especially if your firm operates in multiple countries. While all businesses are affected to some degree by what's going on in the political arena, it's especially important in certain industries. Imagine that you work in an airport or another public transport related company. These are industries uh, where the government plays a significant role, both as a payer and as a creator uh, of legislation and regulations. Or well, think about the whole industry of culture, where public grants are essential and often comes with political agendas. Local politicians in municipalities or regional governments will prioritize through their political wishes and agendas. Will they focus on new roads or support for a new museum? But it has an influence uh, in basically all other industries. Take, for instance, the rapid and successful rollout of Airbnb or Uber, which in many uh, European cities have been met with political pressure due to, for instance, discussions on tax payments or perceived unfair competition with hotels and taxes. This political interference has in some places led to limitations on Airbnb and banning Uber. Understanding and projecting political actions are critical to the success of companies and organizations in these types of industries. Here are examples of other, here are examples of other uh, areas you could cover in the P in PESTEL. Entry mode regulations, meaning how easy it is to open a firm in a market, or trade regulations, for instance within the EU, um, where access to one market gives you access to all 27 markets. The E in the PESTEL is for economic factors. Consider general uh, economic conditions and trends, like market cycles and seasonality trends. Exchange rates are an important consideration for multinational companies, for instance, hotel chains like Marriott or fast food chains like McDonald's. Tax and interest rates matter to most businesses. Imagine that you have a premium restaurant, for example. When a recession hits, people will tend to spend less money on restaurant visits, but when the market goes up, people will get more money and therefore be willing to spend more money on premium restaurants. Economic ups and downs each create their own sets of problems and possibilities. Your ability to anticipate those cycles when participating in marketing making strategy can be very important. Here are examples of other areas you could cover in the first E in PESTO. Disposable income of consumers which has an influence on how your market and price, uh, how you market and price your products and services. Accessibility of credit, uh, where the financial crisis made it very difficult to finance your operations and further development of firms. Unemployment rates uh, could also be considered. High unemployment rates uh, creates possibilities for lower labor costs, but could also influence the firm's revenues, while low 
unemployment uh, could increase labor costs and make it difficult to get the right type of employees, but potentially sell more products and services. Next, think about the S for social or social cultural factors. Consider uh, demographic trends like population growth and age distribution. One example here is the aging population in most Western countries, as the baby boomers have re uh, reached retirement age. On one hand is the threat to first producing products and services targeted at a younger demographic. On the other hand, it creates a lot of new opportunities to sell products or provide services to this group. Other factors what worth noting are lifestyle uh, factors like increased health consciousness, um, uh, colliding with growing uh, obesity, uh, or environmental awareness, uh, the rapidly increasing acceptance of gays, lesbians, uh, and transgenders could also create possibilities for your business. The same with trends in the media, where social um, the social media will influence your business. Another important area to think about is whether there are any ethnic or religious uh, influences that affect the product or services you offer. What implication does an increasing Chinese middle class have on your future sales? The implications of having very different cultures are potential uh, of potential customers for your product or service could be important for the success of your firm or organization. Does anyone in your staff speak Mandarin? Here are examples of other areas you could cover in the S in PESTO. Distribution of wealth. In many countries, there is an increase in the gap between rich and poor, which might have an influence on your product or service. Educational background. Discussions in many countries on how to increase the number of youth choosing to take an education as a carpenter, a production technologist, a mason, or a plumber instead of as an academic could eventually influence decisions on your product or service. The fourth area of PESTEL analysis is represented by the letter T for technological factors. We probably believe we all know how fast the technological landscape can change and how this can have a dramatic impact on business, but it looks like the changes happen faster and faster. An obvious example is your smartphone. According to Comscore's 2017 cross-platform future in focus report, the average American adult spends two hours and 51 minutes on their smartphone every day. Remember that this is a device that didn't exist 10 years ago. The revolution within online booking in the hotel industry, for instance, through Hotels.com and Booking.com, etc., wouldn't have been possible without this technological development. Or think about the impact of TripAdvisor and Yelp on how you as a consumer today have much better access to objective reviews of restaurants and cafes. Google's new Pixel Buds, a set of advanced headphones, makes it possible uh, to translate 40 different uh, languages in real time. That might turn your problem with the lack of Mandarin speaking staff into an opportunity, although you still need to ensure that you adapt your cultural background to work with your Chinese customers' culture. As you consider the larger microenvironment, think about what changes are occurring in the technologies that help you to produce, distribute, and market your services. How is this uh, likely to change in the future? And how do these create threats and opportunities for your business? Here are examples of other areas you could cover in the T in PESTO. Rate of technological advance, advances and innovations. With Tesla, the electric vehicle has been kickstarted, uh, helped by climate change and the Volkswagen diesel gate. At the same time, Apple, Google and others are far with self-driving vehicles. Being in the transport industry, this will have a major impact. New technological platforms. Wireless charging of mobile devices has been possible for a number of years. But the big players haven't until recently been able to agree on an industry standard. Key from the Wireless Power Consortium, WPC, uh, has been an Android standard for a while, and now it's coming to iPhones too. 
IKEA has launched a whole assortment of key chargers built into furniture. That could influence uh, renovation in hotels in the future, where you need, might need less electrical plugs, less wiring. The second E in PESTLE is for environment. Both consumers and governments penalize firms for having adverse effect on the environment. With a more and more visible climate change, the impact will be even more visible in the future. Increasingly, consumers are willing to switch brands if they find business is ignoring their environmental duties. Government levy huge fines upon companies for polluting uh, and tax-wise punish companies for lack of uh, energy uh, efficiency or high water consumption. On the other hand, companies are also rewarded for having positive impact on the environment. The agricultural sector is an example of an industry being under increased pressure from governments. Concerned about use of pesticides as well as consumers concerned with climate change and increasing their consumption of organic products. So impact on the environment is a rising concern. But note that the environment benefits the companies too. Here are examples of other areas you could cover in the second E in PESTLE. Waste disposal laws, forcing the private households as well as firms to divide their waste into paper, organic, plastic and so on. Environmental protection regulations, for instance around the possible ban of certain diesel vehicles in major European cities within the next five to eight years. Energy consumption regulations with increasing taxes on black energy compared to green energy. And popular attitude towards the environment where the pressure from ordinary people forces a more green political agenda with governments as well as firms. The sixth and last letter in PESTL is L for legislation. This step involves the laws and regulations in your industry, region, country and so on. It is critical to the development of your firm or organization to know this and for avoiding unnecessary legal costs. Legal factors include health and safety, uh, equal opportunities, advertising standards, consumer rights and laws, protecting product label, labeling, product safety and data security. It is clear that companies need to know what is and what is not legal in order to trade successfully. If a firm trades across borders, this can become a very tricky area to get right as each country might have its own set of rules and regulations. Examples of other areas you could cover in the L in PESTL are on employment regulations, whether even within the EU are big differences on how you, uh, how the rules uh, of hiring and firing works. Competitive regulation and antitrust laws can specifically for bigger firms have a major implication on how to behave. The EU Commission's lawsuits against Google and Apple are good examples. Product regulations, where small firms' production from a third party, in for instance China, can create potential issues. And patent, copyright, trademark and design infringement, where we have also seen increase in recent years within the, for instance, software, medicine, furniture and sports apparel. A few closing remarks. Which of the six areas of a pest analysis are most relevant to your company will vary based on the industry in which you operate and the location. For some companies operating in mature industries in stable countries, perhaps technology trends are not as relevant. It's up to you to decide which areas merit the most attention for your company. Therefore, take what is relevant as long as you can make sure you cover all relevant areas. The second point I want to make is that you should think about the pestle analysis as a reminder of different areas. The point is not to spend a lot of time worrying in which exact category to place a certain factor. For example, if you have an activist group made of uh, millennials lobbying for changes in environmental laws, it doesn't really matter whether you put that under P or E or S or the second E. What matters is that you recognize that specific factor in crafting your strategy. Okay, that's the framework uh, for conducting the pestle analysis. It is an external analysis and it is and it operates at the broad level of the macro environment.